Representing the 26 to 27 foot class in the center console category, the Seafox 266 Commander has an overall length of 26 feet, a beam of 9 feet 3 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 400. Built with offshore fishing as the priority, she has a draft of 16 inches, a dead rise of 20 degrees, a dry weight of 4,200 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 143 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, Dave East and Rick Riles. This is the Seafox 266 Commander, and if your activities on the water call for the need of several different boats, but you've only got the budget for one, this boat might be the perfect boat you're looking for. But what they've done is they've addressed the need and the function of several things. If you're a diver, this boat will fit the bill. If you're a fisherman, if you want to take the family out, if you want to cruise, they've allowed this boat to do a lot of things, but yet keep it in a manageable size for your driveway, for your budget. And for your tow vehicle, don't forget that too. You don't need a dually to pull it. You mentioned storage and you mentioned a diver. Check this out. You know who designed this? A diver. Well, that's easy to see because you can store all your dive gear in there, but more importantly, it's got a place to store your dive tanks to keep them from rattling or falling over. And that's important because spear fishing, free diving, that stuff has gotten huge over the last few years. But very few manufacturers actually focus on the dive community. What they've done here, they've gone a step further and they've used this storage area for anything. Yeah, you can put fish and ice in there, but they've also made it applicable for just about anything you're going to do on this boat. There is no more comfortable place to sit ahead of the transom of the boat than right here. There is one more place that's more comfortable to sit, and that's the bow seating up here. And to call it seating is really not adequate. These are more lounges than they are seats. It's like sitting in your lazy boy. You can face aft, these people facing forward, you can have a conversation. But if more people want to face forward, you've got your backrest that swing out, and now you can if you want to. As you go aft, look at the legs on this T-top. All of their welding is done in-house, and to find something powder coated this color is one thing, but just the size and the build of it just speaks to the quality of the overall build on this boat. We see more and more hard tops all the time, and that really is the way to go. Now the hard tops are storage spaces, they get you out of the weather, they're just a much better way to get you shade while you're on the water. The design of the console, not only with the T-top around it, but the console itself fits the boat. On my side, I've got built-in tackle storage. On your side, you've got a door that leads into a console with plenty of room for a potty. Full-size entrance, put stuff, big stuff in here, get in here yourself to get out of the weather if you have to. Comes back to a very well thought out console. Great line of sight. I can see all the way past the bow very easily. Makes it so much easier to dock. Makes it so much less dangerous when I'm throttling up and I've got that little blind spot. You are always able to see what's directly ahead of you. But you know what, I like this. I haven't seen this before. This comes straight from the automotive world. Doesn't that look like the center console on a really nice car? Well, it does, and it puts all your gauges where you can see them. Your switches are easy to get to. You still got plenty of room for your flush mount electronic. You've got your padded dash up here that you like for throwing your cell phone or throwing your fishing pliers and stuff like that. The design of the seat, it fits the design of the T-top. They've really done some things I like. They use a great big four inch down tube. They've eliminated the back legs, so it frees up a lot more room in your cockpit. You have a cooler underneath. Nothing looks like it's added on to this boat. Everything looks like it's been engineered to purposely be put on this There's boat. There's no afterthoughts. Step behind here. I'm going to show you another thing as a fisherman you're really going to like. Another advantage of them doing all their aluminum work in-house, look how they've laid out their rod holders on the T-top. And it comes standard with the Kingfish rod holders on the side. Great design. This is aluminum work that you just don't normally see. They do it in-house to match the boat. Anytime you do things in-house, everything, the whole boat speaks of the brand that it is. You understand what I'm saying? One of the things that really sets a boat apart in my eyes is the way they've done these jump seats. This is the first time I've seen jump seats like this in a big 26-foot center console. This makes a perfect transom door until you flip it up, then it's a jump seat. You've actually got two different functions in one in the same place. Now the family feature they've added, they got a tow bit. You're going to pull a water toy behind the boat. It's so much better to pull it from an elevated position it tries to do it from a cleat or a stern eye. And if you're going to fish out of the boat, here's your nice big oval live well that you like to see. Oh, I do. The bigger the better. And when it, the bait has got a long distance to swim and no corners to get trapped in, it lives a whole lot longer. Well, there's a lot of features that are packed into this 26-foot boat. Easy to trailer. You'll need a pair of 150s to push it. So this is a boat that'll fit into your budget. You can get offshore with it, you can take the family. This boat will do a lot of things that the bigger center consoles will do, but in a more manageable size.